What's up everyone, this is Windows Phone Hacker. Yesterday I released something that was sort of unexpected both on my point of view and on the reader's point of view called the Zap Manifest tool. And its actual use is, well I mean basically it just lets you edit the manifest of a zap without having to extract it and mess with it. And the reason why this was created was because I was working on an explanation how to hide, ex hide applications from your start menu and uh, this became fairly necessary to just sort of make the process a little easier. So as promised, here's a little explanation on how to hide applications from your Windows Phone 7 start menu. Basically, what this process involves is removing the title from an application, which then causes the, uh, the Pac-Man or operating system to no longer list it in the start menu. And this is actually, this would be a lot easier if we had access to the uh, start menu database, but we currently don't. So right now you'll actually have to edit the individual zap files and redeploy them to your phone. For homebrew applications, this is easy as just opening up the application and editing it and then deploying it to your phone. For marketplace applications, there are a couple of limitations to this. A being you have to have the zap file for the application, which brings on B, which means that the application has to be free because otherwise you're basically illegally downloading applications from the marketplace. Thankfully, some tools such as Phone 7 Marketplace will make this a little bit easier. Now this has been much requested since the release of the Folders application because people want to put applications in their Start menu onto their into folders on their Start screen and just sort of clean things up a little bit, which was the original point of Folders uh, when I was using it as a personal project for Homebrew applications, but now I've decided to expand this and explain how to do this for marketplace applications as well. So the first step is I have the folders config program and I've created a social folder with a couple of applications in it including Facebook because I need a way to launch the application once I hide it and I'll go ahead and deploy that to my phone and I will pin the social folder onto my start screen and there it is. Next, I need to actually hide the Facebook application from the start menu. So to do this, I need the original Facebook Zap. So here I have Phone 7 Market, which you can download off of XDA Developers. And I'm just going to save as the uh, Facebook Zap onto my computer. I'm just going to go ahead and save this. Now, once the Zap is downloaded, you need to open it up in the Zap Manifest tool that I released yesterday that facilitates this process. I'm just going to open up the Facebook application that I just downloaded. And again, it's really simple. All you got to do is delete the title. So everything after title equals in quotes gets deleted. And make sure you leave the two quotes there. So now it has a blank title. And now all you have to do is deploy it onto your device. And since it's a marketplace application, you'll want to go to Patch and Deploy, which will sign it as a uh, developer application and then deploy it over to your phone. So just do that and wait for it to complete. And now that it's completed, we can go over to the Start screen and we can see that the Facebook application isn't listed. However, if we go to the Start screen and tap on the Social folder, and tap on Facebook, it'll open right up and everything's, everything's installed and good to go. So this is fairly useful if you want to clean up applications on your start screen. And it's a little complicated for marketplace applications. And again, you are limited to free applications because those are the only ones you can legitimately download from the marketplace. So you can do this with both homebrew and free marketplace applications. It is a bit of a pain. Uh, I'll admit that, but it is, it's fairly useful, and if you have some time on your hands to organize this, uh, it's actually fairly useful. This does require an unlocked phone, again, and it, it does not require interrupt unlock, but that can be fairly useful because you have to deploy uh, quite a few applications to your phone for this to work successfully. Uh, but basically, that's how you hide applications from your Windows Phone 7 start screen. Hopefully you liked the video, and if you have any questions, you can let me know on my website, windowsphonehacker.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe.